at this guy. Oh my god. Hey guys, how's it going? Jolster here. So Samsung was showing off this beautiful 220 modular display, also known as the wall. Let me tell you guys, it was beautiful. It has all the incredible contrast and black levels, similar to all the TVs without the screen burn issues and super high levels of brightness. Samsung truly knows how to impress with this display. On their TV section, all I could see was 8K models everywhere with massive sizes from 65 inch, 85, even a 98 inch size, which makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't buy a 55 inch 8K TV and expect to see a difference. A lot of people are complaining how these companies are pushing 8K resolution while we feel there's still a lot to get from 4K TVs. I mean, that's what I think, right? So you see the way 8K TVs work is that they have a great upscaling engine and with the help of AI, they're able to improve details along with Samsung's Quantum Dot processor, which enables content to be remastered into 4K. AI also optimizes sound and for each scene by scene for a more precise audio and adjust brightness to the room's environment. All this sounds very impressive and they look beautiful, but I'm happy with my 4K Samsung TV. I think it still looks amazing. Another cool device Samsung show was the space monitor, which lets you have the monitor against the wall and fully utilize your desk. So the 32 is going to be 4K, the 27 is going to be 1440, 1440. It's going to have a higher refresh rate of 144 hertz. Oh, okay, so they come with a with a with a hinch. The yeah, you bet, like if you look on there, it comes like this. You can kind of set it yeah all the way down. You can angle it a little bit more if you want to. Yeah. You can even angle it down for some reason. I don't know why, but you mean there's a million different ways. You find out what's most comfortable for you based on where you're sitting yes. or what you're doing. And then of course it goes flush against the wall to give you back all of the space. All the space, yeah. I am a space hog. I have oh, everything's floating around all this over the place. This is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be 32 inch 4K. 32 inch 4K. And then 27 inch 1440 with 40, a higher 40, refresh rate. High refresh uh, yeah. 144. 144 hertz. 144 hertz. Yeah. Nice. Is this going to be uh, also with HDR? Will it have HDR? Ooh. No, I don't believe it's just 250 nits uh, on there. So no HDR. Okay. Maybe it's just it. Standard 4K. 4K. Yeah. What I'm more interested in, and maybe you guys are also will agree with me, is the addition of Apple TV into 2019 Samsung televisions. This means that you don't need to buy an Apple TV unit to take advantage of the streaming service. And even better, this will also be available in 2018 models via update. This also includes support for AirPlay, which means that iPhone users will be able to stream video content from their phone to the Samsung TVs. Well, that's it for me right now, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Will you be jumping into AK resolution TVs? Are you excited about Apple working with Samsung? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.